What's up guys, I'm Salty Mike, and this is your Star Citizen Week in Review for January 24th, 2022. There's been some more PTU releases, nothing to live yet, and the derelicts, to me, are starting to look like they could be something very special. We had a monthly report with a few highlights that CIG wanted to sell to us, and it's been over a month, and it looks like we're gonna get ISC back. All that and more on today's Week in Review. And as always, if this is your first week in review, this is where I take all of the official Star Citizen news each week, pile it into one compact video, and share my opinions on some of those subjects as well. Also, I live stream on twitch.tv slash saltymike every day but Monday starting at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time so I can get this video out to you guys. And if you haven't yet, I do have a second channel called Salty Mike 2 where we watch other content creators um, videos and share our opinions on those. And I want to start adding some live stream highlights to that as well. But we do have a lot to get through, so let's start out with patch notes updates. 3.16.1D ended up on the PTU and they did some more derelict polish passes as well as a quantum travel polish pass. So if you've had that bug that it prevents you from engaging, hopefully this is a fix for that for now. I've seen it work pretty consistently. Uh, bug fixes, the big one is they hope to fix the ICU bug where you basically have to leave the server just to fix it. Uh, and when in a party, that really isn't fun. Then we had 3.16 on uh, 3.16.1e on the PTU again, which had a lighting pass for derelicts and a couple minor bug fixes. And then the F patch for 3.16.1, more derelict polish, but a bug fix that I want to point out to you guys was uh, like the main bad one that isn't fixed yet is they tried to fix the holster bug. So when you try to holster something and then you take out another weapon or something like a multi-tool, it just is like constantly holstering and it's just like a total mess. It appears to be less bad than it was before. In my experience, if you do the wipe animation, it seems to fix it for me for now, but they still have to nail this issue down. This one was a major game breaking issue. If you're involved in any sort of combat, think jump town or a bunker mission, things like that. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about the derelicts and uh, touch on what I was talking about in the intro of the video. They are in a state where it's very interesting. They're trying to nail these features down, but the derelicts have a ton, ton of potential if they let it, which is CIG's problem. They tend to not uh, brew a feature long enough to allow it to be incredibly fun. So for the first time ever, I went down to a derelict this week and I went through the process of trying to find, uh, what, what was it, uh, Zeta Prolami Prolamide or whatever, it's the timed uh, boxes and I found a caterpillar wreck and I started looking through and it is a little bit of a maze and sometimes you have to move a box to be able to jump on stuff and I thought that that was pretty cool but more importantly the loot containers contained loot that was relevant to the location that you were in I happened to lose my multi-tool to a bug but there was a multi-tool inside one of the containers it has the tractor beam attachment in there there was med pens and colored healing pens and it, yeah there was just things of value to the player and that's where the potential lies is in the exploration of these and then you could start going full on of what the overall huge scope of star citizen would be where i doubt missions should really bring you to these uh in the future where you should be pinging and finding a random derelict ship on the ground and what might be there? Quantum is the, the feature that should decide what's in those boxes and stuff like that. So I think that there's a ton of potential here. I just don't know if it will ever be realized uh, in, the, in the near future. You know, obviously, I think we're all here because we hope it will be at some point. But yeah, I got a really good taste of what these could be if the team really spent some time and made them good. I also think it highlights what is so bad uh, about the loot containers in the bunker missions is they don't really contain loot relevant to the location enough uh, where you go down to specific bunkers or specific places looking for a chance at specific items. Uh, that's a very video gamey thing and 
um, I think that that could be really awesome in Star Citizen. So again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the derelicts. I think that they're kind of childish in a way, uh, very easy to complete, but that sense of, ooh, when you find something in a loot container there feels really good so far. Maybe it'll wear off, but right now I just see a ton of potential. Moving on, we did have a monthly report for both Squadron 42 and Star Citizen. I'm only going to touch on the Star Citizen one. I tend not to discuss much of Squadron 42 on this channel because it is not something that is shared a lot with Star Citizen. And a lot of the time, I think we don't know the status of it. We don't know where it's at, where it's at and I'd rather just um, focus on what's on our computers now and... Um, maybe someday when Star Citizen uh, Squadron 42 is closer, we'll touch on it. But anyway, monthly report, AI tech, planetary nav mesh, work appears to be complete at some tier zero type level, but this doesn't really go give a good in indication of when we may see it or how many NPCs we may see roaming around, but it is very nice to see uh, that in the monthly report. In case you didn't know, what this means is it allows NPCs and possibly ships to just navigate around a planetary body like a moon or a city things like that a lot better and it just would make the star citizen universe feel more alive would make missions feel a lot more interesting all those things incredibly important so to see that in some sort of usable state looks pretty cool to me uh then animation looks like we're getting a new missile launcher for fps hopefully it's better than the current one in its functionality then they are also working on improved uh improving the janky animation so like crouch and prone and things like that uh then for ships the uk team has the hull a internals in final art the landing gear and extending cargo are done from an art perspective and now the team that has to make it a reality the tech art team is or the tech ship tech team whatever it would be called has to make a, a reality then the whole sea is getting close to its gray box review scorpius that's the x-wing ship with 47 uh i mean eight guns but still it's an insane amount of guns that's in gray box gray box as well the banu merchantman is getting close to gray box and out out of white box and in the U.S., the Vulture's interior is in final art, uh, LODs for its landing gear and damage passes for it. So it's coming along and we should be seeing it pretty soon. I think it's planned for 318. Uh, the Corsair is in gray box. So that is the Drake's answer to the constellation, I believe. Um, and we will show a bit after we talk on the monthly report of that. There's another little Corsair update later in the show. Uh, character features. Hacking seems to be getting a ton of work and iteration. I see this being a thing that many of us use from players doing lawful missions, needing to get through like a locked door or container, uh, like lock picking in many games, uh, to pirates trying to, trying to gain access to like NPC or even our player ships. Uh, this feels like one of those key features that we all need to see done for Star Citizen to feel more like any other game, but also for it to feel like Star Citizen. Uh, gameplay features. To nobody's surprise, the gameplay feature is the smallest section in the roadmap, uh, and I think that's two months running now. Uh, the item selling has made significant progress, so I'm hoping we don't see a big delay for 317 on that. That is another one of those features that is kind of needs to get checked off for Star Citizen to eventually leave its alpha state, right? There's a lot of just general usability things that need to exist in Star Citizen and selling of items needs to be one of them. So that's a big one. Another huge one would be the cargo rework. And that is like on and off because so many teams need to work on it. So uh, the gameplay feature team may be waiting for some tech team to finish something for it. Uh, so in the meantime, they're doing quality of life fixes while they wait for the other teams to support them on the cargo rework. Vehicle feature teams, uh, they started talking a lot about Gravlev. Uh, so not much to say here as uh, we are seeing that uh, in case you guys didn't know because I haven't touched on it yet is the hover quad bike from Consolidated Outland was on some of those PTUs that we discussed earlier and as of right now everybody should be able to spawn it on the PTU so if you want to check it out you can um, then they said they were going to start working on transit improvements we know the in-city transit is awful uh there's so many issues with it and it just takes forever and you're waiting and it's just 
I think most of you guys probably spawn at a station. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you do. I don't like spawning in a city because it's just forever to leave. But I think in the future, we would all probably want to live in a city rather than some random space station. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about that. Uh, but it, it's just good. They're finally cleaning up things so they can focus on actually adding new features and not dealing with the problems of the transit system. Uh, they talked about jump points, but again, static meshing is probably the very least they would need for this to happen. So I just tend to ignore those things, but I will share the fact that they did mention jump points and they are still working on them. Uh, narrative, they may be making some new missions here based on narrative needing to write up some new lines for them. Uh, and I wonder what they have brewing. They also mentioned a new dynamic event, which this, as far as we know, there aren't any additional dynamic events that they've shared real details with us. I don't remember anything from SitCon. Let me know again in the comments if you remember anything. Then we had systematic services and tools. This is where Quantum is made. So it seems like they're polishing up some things with that a little bit. And they're also supporting the systems needed for selling. So again, big, big feature there. A lot of teams working on it. Very much looking forward to that in the next patch. I think it's in the next patch, or is it in 3.18? Let me know in the comments, I can't remember, I haven't looked at the roadmap. Uh, UI, they said new star map in the UI section, guys. I repeat, they said new star map. Uh, so that's really all we have to report. There were no major details on that, but it's an active development and we need it. <laughs> They're also working on Moby Glass and hacking obviously so uh, we've seen hacking mentioned a lot but moby glass rework is also in progress so the ui team is very busy with things that we are very very looking forward to seeing and that's it for the um monthly report there are other uh feature teams and other items here on the monthly report that i didn't share usually i skip over graphics vfx and like all the technical stuff. So as always, if anyone feels like sharing what those updates were, cause they were the longest uh, by far, I, they just always go over my head. And honestly, I don't have the time to learn what graphics programming stuff means. I just want to turn on my game and have it work well and look pretty. So uh, let me know in the comments what some of that stuff was, if you guys feel like it. Let's move on to other updates. There was a sneak peek and it was the Drake Corsair. So a lot of these mid-sized multi-crew ships are coming in and it's nice to see, but it would be really sick to see if there was something to do with them. So for me, I still don't really see the value of things like the Constellation, uh, the, I don't know, um, any, any ship of that size really, the Mercury Star Runner, stuff like that. We still don't quite have that multi-crew experience. We've had turrets kind of come online and then it just kind of went silent after that. Remember that engineering role they were talking about on ISC like a year ago? Yeah, that never happened. So um, I, I guess ships like this are still kind of waiting for those, those features to come online to be really awesome. But I think a lot of people are waiting for Drake's answer to the uh, Constellation. So looking forward to seeing that one. But again, not much value in the game quite yet, but hopefully at some point in the future. There was a feedback post for the aforementioned hover quad. So if you guys have used it in the PTU, please feel free to share your feedback there. There is going to be another Xenothreat play test. They're really trying to clean up their third go around for this event. Um, this one's so lore based though. It's kind of weird seeing it going again. Uh, I really enjoyed it last time, but I've been asking you guys to write a lot in the comments. What do you think about that? It, it's just kind of weird going through the process of Xenothreat again. I know this is the alpha portion of the game and maybe there will only ever be one real Xenothreat event, who knows, but um, I, I know they're gonna attack occasionally here and there, but it is weird to go through that same exact process. So yeah, lore post Empire Report, if, you, if you're into that kind of thing, uh, link will be in the description. And then the last thing we'll discuss is the week ahead. So it looks like it's finally coming. ISP, ISP, ISC should be going again this week. And we will, you will probably know it from this week, like this week in Star Citizen Post. But as I'm recording it, this isn't out yet. So all I have is this tweet from Jared. So it looks like uh, it's going to be happening. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the topics will be. But yeah, that'll do it for this week's video. So we're still kind of in that blah, nothing place of Star Citizen where there's not, not much to do. But the derelicts have me kind of excited for... I don't know, man. Salvage, Quanta, all these things at some point in the future. But I also know how far those things are away. So without 
further ado, guys, I guess let's call it here. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.